Mitch Hare, Ruben Woodcock and Andy Hoywood uh, controlling this one. Andy did the girls game a little bit earlier and Geelong are just going to come up within the backcourt and an extended zone here. The Supercats, McDonald, he's right, three, bang. It's picked up right where he left off, Tom Wright. Simon Conn with the first of what you would expect to be many rebounds in 2019. On Ropolis. And Simon Conn just flares to the corner for two. Of course, you touched on Wusu there. Captain this year uh, with Nathan Herbert stepping away. So Nick's been voted as the captain of the team and great to see him out. Out there competing. Now long, no longer exists. Back to the basket, Thomas. Guarded by Switellen. It's a nice finish. First points in a Supercat singlet for the former pioneer. And alone, feet set. Lewis Thomas has left it short. He get his offensive board and go hard to the basket. His eyes lit up. There's a finger roll in the end. He'll take the easy two. He yeah, has had the last five years off, though. Thomas back to the basket. And nice a touch. nice finish. And Lewis Thomas has made a solid start. Great start. Now settling into the Nutter Wadding lineup for a third season. And he'll pull the trigger on the three and knock it down. Reversal. Which sits right between two missed threes from the Supercats. One from Varley, one from Owusu. McDonald now wants to look at it and he'll knock it down and bang. That margin is all of a set and eight. Hicks with his back to the basket. Con just steps off him slightly. Hicks wants to go to work and go reverse and finish nicely. Nice finish there from Mola. I mean, it's no easy task getting through the wingspan of Simon Con. This is where Nutter Wadding come down and generally punish you when you're unable to capitalise on those O boards. And Simon Con from the elbow. Here we go. In oh, about three or four games. I'm not writing him off. Con again. And it's uh, a 10 point and as Nutter Wadding advantage. On a nice little 6 0 run, McDonald looks to extend that with a long two, make that an 8 0 run. That experience. Oh, that, Hicks that with unit. a nice little crossover. And Switella just says, I'm taking that off the front of the rim. And then Gatlin with a steal. He'll take it hard at Switella and lay it in. And that's a score Geelong needed. That's Absolutely. That. Rebula feeds Thomas in the post. Goes to work. Can he get it to fall? He can. The end one. John Cook. A little crossover from McDonald. Kick to the corner. Cook with the extra pass. We see Mitchell for the first time. As he kicks it off. And the th long three is knocked down by Jack Saunders. Very cynical, Seb. Oh, no cynicism. Oh, I'm just saying it, it's, it's funny how that, that tends to happen <laughs> in games. A Wusu with a beautiful there move, a veteran. After that free throw there, might I suggest the Geelong guys do a better job of boxing out Mitchell from a free throw. He, uh, if that had a sat for him, he was throwing that down on someone's head. Nice offense run off the inbounds and Rebula. Margin is 11. Ronopoulos came hard at Rebula, was able to kick the pass to Mitchell. A little through the legs dribble and then had his shot blocked by Hicks. McInerney wanted to travel. Seven on the shot clock. Hicks. Little jab step on Spatella and then just barges his way through on Ropolis and finishes. Little shot fake and he was able to just, as you say, bullock his way through. Are you surprised by that? I'm not surprised. Which makes you Actually, wonder I think why... that hit the back of the rim. That's the rare part about that. That didn't hit all net. Makes you wonder why that's not being defended. As Nathan Friend off the dribble was nice. Rebula guarding Spatella in the low block. And Mitchell. then that, he just uses that space yeah. there, Mitchell. He wanted to go baseline, but Hicks got a piece of it. And under the basket, Switella manages to get it to go. And it's the recruit from Werribee. Step back jumper from Hicks is short. McInerney trying to keep well it alive. Did well, yeah. Liam did McInerney. Really well. Also a good effort there by Young Tang to be able to just get in there and battle and prevent the Nutter Wadding guys from getting that defensive rebound. Switella high arcing three is nothing but net. Yeah. McDonald guarded by Rebula. Pick and roll. Yeah, just f flashing to outside the three-point line is John Cook. Ronopoulos unguarded for three. That's just a breakdown of communication there. The, the, the guy passes the ball from the inbound. You'd have to go a long way back to find a Geelong team in this much trouble on their home floor as Demarcus Gatlin goes strong at the basket. Did Thomas make one early? I don't think so. Spatella going baseline on strong Thomas. Strong move. And it was a strong move from Dane Spatella. Awusu. Geelong just look lost at the offensive end. As Awusu gets a long two to fall, they do. They're just no real rhythm. No cohesion. With the man playing on three fouls. He's done a long three. He's good. He's 
is coming back down to play defense when they're looking to continue to put that pressure on the, in the um, Supercats defense. Rebula attracts a couple of defenders and dishes nicely to McInerney who knocks down the short corner jumper. Long jump shots off a little bit of penetration or a, a hesitation move that is able to free up that guy to shoot it. Farley tried to get it to a Wusu, Swatella got involved and he threw it down. Boom. It was, made him look like a 6'5 guard then. Awusu finds himself in nice traffic. Nice little dish though to McInerney who's got a nice soft touch around the basket. Rebula working off a Thomas screen. Finds himself in traffic and a nice little touch over the front of the rim. There's those soft rims. The Supercats but the Spectres have put some real hurt on Geelong. Three. A long one is good and they've got 60 in the half. Con guarded by the shorter Thomas. Double comes. Finds the open man who is oh, off, off the mark. Hurts. And then a Ronopoulos, who's possibly the shortest man on the court right now. We'll work off the hick screen. Thomas, this time for three. Can he get this one to go? He can, Lewis Thomas. First three pointer for the Supercats in the night and for NBL one. Little handoff for McDonald's off the mark. Connell pulling an offensive rebound. You've got to do your work early on Simon Connell. As soon as that shot goes up, you've got to drop your backside and, and really work him outside of that key. Otherwise, he's going to get everything. Oh, Mullo. He's all alone under the basket. The pass was poor from Thomas. And late. That pass could have been poor and early, and he still scored. Late and poor. Two points well, for nice the gap. Handoff. And Ronopoulos has been good tonight. Average 10 last season. And he's been solid this evening. Gatlin the long two coming back the other way. And he's starting just to warm into this DeMarcus Gatlin. Oh, he, he's fought a real battle to get back out there and be out there for this club. And Ronopoulos for three in and out. And then the athleticism of Swing, Dane Swatella just to give a nice little touch on it. Con got it. But couldn't get his little jumper to fall. They're going to come up with it though. And Con's going to get another look at it and get it to drop. And Leon O'Neill has seen enough with 3.46 to play in this third period. Automatically on the back foot and making that reversal to get the ball to the 45 or to the short corner on the other side. Gatlin with the steal will take it hard at the basket. McDonald lets him go and Gatlin with the way on hand stuffs it and gives him to retreat. Thomas in the corner, time to line it up and left it short. McInerney did well to keep it alive. Gatlin strong in traffic. Can they get it to fall? Gatlin does. As he then steps back for the three. Con from behind can't reel it in as he knocked it away from Thomas and Geelong get another opportunity. There's a Wusu strong to the basket, got it to go. Nice finish from the veteran. What you'll see is Holkren on the back of his singlet and Cohen Blythe. Blythe coming across from Cryo Bay. Contested the shot of Con who had released it well before Blythe got there. Saunders pushes the pass to McDonald who says, I'll oh, just pull the dribble back late in this third period and run an offense. Oh, Spatel is all alone under the basket. Yeah. Right, touch pass from McDonald. Mitchell wants to go to work against young Blythe. Blythe did okay on him, but the turnaround jumper is off the mark. Well, it's actually good. It looked to be off the mark. It did look to be off the mark. There's that shooter's roll again. Eight days to think about the situation for Leon O'Neill as a big three from Cohen Blythe with his first points at NBL 1 level. Five basketball for as many minutes as you can. The coaches always are a little bit... Uh, Reluctant to give up time on the floor when there's so little for a season. McDonald finishes off right steal. Georgiatis. Touch from Mabula. McInerney the follow. He'll get the offensive rebound and put it back. And I mean, that's what you expect to see when you go with a young, inexperienced so, You know, I'm sure that Leon will be really impressed. And the fact that he's prepared to bang bodies. A lot of the times you get guys that are quite happy to sit on the outside and shoot the three. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Con and McDonald both find themselves. Having a seat shortly as they prepare for Ballarat tomorrow night. Simon Conn from the oh, short corner. A couple more from my short corner spot here. 20 is the margin. Five minutes and change to play here in this final period of opening night. NBL 1, Cohen Blythe has got a nice stroke. Really athletic kid. Can, use, can get up, can get down. And certainly not afraid to get amongst it. And Sabres, old Sandringham, 66, leading Hobart, 64. And over at Danny Nong, it's the centre of excellence. 94 is Thomas. Great take by Lewis. Great finish by Lewis. Thomas, one of two. The margin is 20. And those who might not see a lot of court time, we're getting court time as Luke Van Rin with a nice move. Blythe got a piece of him on the way through. He was able to finish reverse. Are done at the arena where it has been a comprehensive 
start to season 2019. The new NBL 1 competition sees Nunna Wadding hand out a 93-70 hiding.